Click Dork back again, and I'm so excited. I just finished connecting ClickSense to Hugging Face for the first time, and it was successful. Look how easy this was for my URL. I simply put this API for Hugging Face to get a list of all their API models. It's simply a get transaction, and I passed it like with our open API connector, a bearer token that you get in Hugging Face when you log into them. You do not have to pay with them. You can access these APIs for free. Notice here that I've set this allow with connection. We're going to see that again in a minute, but I wanted to call out uh, that to your attention right now. So that was saved. And when I went through and ran, it gave me this code here. And you've saw, seen this before. Forget about that stuff at the top right now. We're going to come back to it. And this is going to go get me the list of all of my Hugging Face models. Yay! Now check this out. I can list all of the different families that classify their models. Maybe I want audio to audio or speech recognition or conversation or film masks. Or I can have translations. I can have text to generation. Text to image. Ooh, you know the ClickDark likes his generative AI art. It lists all of the models for me, what family they're in. If I narrow it down to something, like, let's say translation, you'll see that I've also got the number of likes. So I could find out which models were liked the most by the entire world choosing those models. So those likes. There's also a field for downloads. They give you a good feedback like, hey, am I on the right track here? Did people actually like this model or like that model better? So it's, it's great feedback, which you know we love for analytics. But, but you know, I just happen to think if, if I can get a list of models for translations, man, it'd be fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be fun. If instead of just seeing the models, I just hypothetically, I could make a selection of the model that I want. And I'm going to change this from French to German. And I have this text that I'd like to convert. Here is my conversion to French from when I ran it last time. And now I'm going to go ahead and press convert. And holy smoly. I can convert it to German on the fly. Hey, how about this BZS? No idea what that language is. But you know the click dork needs to have that converted. Uh-oh, we had a problem. And it didn't convert that one for us. Hmm, how would we debug that? Well, the interesting thing about the way REST works if I come back to my load script and attempt to do a load again, a full load, you're going to see how I'm using the partial reload for this. If I go to reload again, it comes up and gives me an error. And it says, hey, look, dude, this is free. I'm letting you access this for free. It's not like I have an infinite amount of resources. That model is currently loading and it's unavailable right now. So this isn't a click code error. This is a hugging face call error. So I wanted you to I wanted to bring this up by picking this language so that you would see what could potentially happen when you do things like this on the fly, but the fact that on the fly is a possibility. So we're going to come back to that. As I mentioned, what I'm doing here in my calling the Hugging Face API to get the list of models, it is a full reload. When I press load data, it's going to load those models for me. The transl And if you haven't seen my video for a partial reload, be sure to go watch it. It's in the code that I've shared here in the blog for this. The reload, when I press that button for reload, it calls this code instead. This is my partial reload. And it's connecting to this connection. So let me take a look at that connection. And you'll see I've got a different connection here 
where I've given it the API for the English to Spanish translation originally. Notice this is a post and I had to put some text out there. I love working with large language models and I just created the text test name with that. Again, I had to put my query header in there for a bearer token and actually what will happen if you don't put that in there is you'll get an error after four or five calls and say look all I'm asking you to do is sign in man so that I know who you are don't worry about it they're not charging you but you can create a bearer token just like you did with the open AI connection again I've passed this with allow connection and here is why what I want to be able to do with that connection is pick my model on the screen. I don't want to create 55 hugging face models and connections. What I want to be able to do is call them on the fly. So while I have the connection to this one predefined connection, what I can do if I've checked that box with, hey, allow it to use a with connection, I can do just that. By the way, use this guy. Ooh, 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 ooh but change the URL for me because I'm going to a different model and ooh, 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 I gave you a predefined body in my connection but I really want you to take this text that's in my variable and use that instead how cool is that I had to define a connection that I use as long as I say allow with connection It'll do that for me. If you're doing this in ClickSense Client Managed, you don't have to worry about that width connection. It just automatically allows that for you. So let me come back to the screen here. I'm going to go back. Yeah, that was my data load. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go ahead and change this again. And let's come back here. And I'm going to pick that. Hopefully I picked the right one. BZS again. And let's try to convert this. Hey, guess what? It converted it this time. Oh, but what if what if that was just all set up? I'm going to do this on the fly. Click dork really loves calling your choice of translations with hugging face. And smiley face emoji. All right, something really really bizarre. And it calls it again on the fly. How cool is that now? Hey, hope that you have a great day.